In this example problem, we'll calculate the pH of a weak acid solution. Our problem reads, calculate the pH of a 0.5 molar HF solution. The Ka value is 3.5 times 10 to the negative fourth. First, we'll set up our rice table. In the first row, we'll write the equation for the ionization of HF. In our next row, we can fill in the initial concentrations of each compound. The initial concentration of HF is 0.5 molar. We don't need to keep track of H2O because it's a pure liquid. Because of the auto-ionization of water, our hydronium ion concentration is initially 1 times 10 to the negative 7th molar but we can make the assumption that this is approximately equal to zero for this problem. And our initial concentration of fluoride anion is zero. To determine the direction of our change in equilibrium, we can calculate Q. Since the fluoride anion concentration is zero molar, Q equals zero. And since Q is less than Ka, we'll have a shift to the right. So we can fill in our change in equilibrium according to the coefficients of our balanced chemical equation. To fill in the equilibrium row, we add the initial and the change rows. Now we can write our Ka expression and fill in the equilibrium concentrations from our table. At equilibrium, our hydronium and fluoride ion concentrations are x and x and our HF concentration is 0.5 minus x. So our Ka expression is x squared divided by 0.5 minus x, and this is equal to the Ka for our weak acid HF, which is 3.5 times 10 to the negative fourth. To solve for x, we can make a simplifying assumption. We can assume that 0.5 minus x is approximately equal to 0.5, because our Ka value is much smaller than 1, so there will be a relatively small concentration of products at equilibrium. If the simplifying assumption is not valid, we'll have to come back to our Ka expression and solve for x using the quadratic formula. Incorporating our simplifying assumption, we have x squared divided by 0.5 equals 3.5 times 10 to the negative fourth. We can multiply both sides by 0.5 so that x squared equals 1.75 times 10 to the negative fourth, and then take the square root of both sides to solve for x. And x equals 0 0.0132 molar. Now we have to check that our simplifying assumption is valid using the 5% rule. For our assumption to be valid, the absolute value of our exact value minus our estimated value, divided by our exact value, times 100%, must be less than 5%. Our exact value was 0.5 minus x. When we solve for x, we got 0 0.0132. We replace this exact value with our estimated value, which was just 0.5, when we were solving for x. So plugging these values into our equation and solving, we find our value is 2.71%. Since this is less than 5%, our assumption is valid, and our value of x should be close enough to what we would have calculated if we used the quadratic formula. So now we can plug our value of x into our equilibrium row to solve for our equilibrium concentrations. To calculate pH, we use the equation pH equals negative log of our hydronium ion concentration, which from our table is our value of x. When we plug it into our calculators, we should get 1.88. So the pH of our weak acid solution is 1.88.